Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video is all about how we can complete Microsoft Azure Data Fundamental Certification, which is also known as DP900 certification in just two days. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first thing I want to clear that this certification is not a prerequisite for any other associate level or a expert level certification. So if you are an experienced professional who has an expertise in the field of data engineering or database administration, DevOps, cloud computing or any other area that comes under Azure, then the expert level certification or an associate level certification are good for you and you can just skip this certification. So this certification is mainly focused on the individuals who are just getting started with Azure and has some fundamental knowledge of big data or data analytics in general or those who wanted to enter the world of data and explore what are the opportunities are there in big data analytics, data engineering field and any relevant roles inside the umbrella of data science. So you may ask where we can prepare for this certification. So there are so many courses available on Udemy as well as on YouTube, but I'll highly recommend you to go through their official Microsoft Learn path, which is very straightforward and it has all the necessary things to crack this certification and it is totally free. So I'll just give the link in the description below so that you can go through it. And I'll also giving you some of the best courses which are available on Udemy, which I think will be enough for you to complete this certification and also explore more in the world of Azure. So this video, we will discuss all about how to prepare for the certification where we can categorize all the topics which needs to be covered as part of the syllabus and how you can complete them in two days. So first I want to discuss about what is the syllabus for this certification. So this certification is split up into four major parts which are related to the core data concepts, handling structured data, unstructured data which is going to be the third part and the fourth one is data analytics on Azure. So let's discuss these topics one by one. So the first part is mainly focused on the core data concepts. So if you are completely new to the data area, then this will be a very important for you, where you will discuss the different file formats, the different types of data and, and which will be the best suitable for your requirement. You will also able to explore the relational databases, what are those and which type of data handles it as well as what are transactions, what do you mean by ACID, which is a popular concept in the relational data world, as well as you will understand the different roles present in the world of data. So some of them I'll tell you that data engineer, data scientist and data analyst. And what is the difference between them and what are their job responsibilities? If you're liking this video, hit subscribe and ring the notification bell. Because why not? It's totally free of cost and it will really motivate me to make such content for you. So coming to the second topic. So second topic is related to the relational data and how we can handle relational data in Azure, where we will learn all about what is relational data, how it is stored and what are the different services provided by Azure to handle relational data in cloud. So if you are familiar with SQL or any other database, so if you are familiar with SQL, you will find it very easier to understand and if not, if you're completely new, so just go through the syllabus, that will be enough for you to get some basic understanding around this topic. So till now you have built the basic foundation of your knowledge about data. But there are some things that relational database misses. And that's why we have come to the next topic, which is non-relational database and how you can handle the non-relational data in Azure. So in the third topic, you will understand what is the non-relational data and how you can handle it in Azure by the different services, which contains the Azure tables, Azure blobs, Azure files, and also the most popular NoSQL database, which is Cosmos DB, which provides you different APIs to handle a variety of data. So it provides the Cosmos DB API for Cassandra. So Cassandra is a very popular NoSQL databases which handles the columnar family data. And we also have the Gremlin API to handle the graph data where the nodes are connected to each other by relationships, which is again a type of a non-relational data because it doesn't have any fixed schema. And for scalability and agile development, Nowadays, NoSQL databases are very popular. This syllabus will help you to build the basic knowledge around 
this relational databases as well as the non relational databases which are very popular nowadays and every data professional should have the basic fundamental knowledge of these technologies so till now you have built the basic fundamental knowledge for data but now once you have the basic understanding you should be knowing how to do the analytics on top of this data so that is our fourth topic which is doing data analytics in azure so this is where things gets really real so for every big organization who are dealing with data the scalability availability are the main concerns so therefore you should have the knowledge to analyze the data which is stored on a large scale so that's why you have to learn about different data warehouse solutions provided by azure where you can build your data pipelines and provide the analytic solution for your company so this topic will cover all the basic aspects like the data warehouse architecture as well as the data pipelines as well as the major services which are azure data factory and azure synapse analytics and how you can provide a analytic solution for your requirement you will also learn about the real time data stream analytics in azure where you will get the understanding of how you can handle the real time data coming from different iot sensors as well as the website logs the sources could be many but the solution you will find in azure so whether you are doing a twitter sentiment analysis or just getting the readings from any temperature sensors you will able to do all these crazy things and analyze real time data in azure by using the azure stream analytics as well as you will you can also use the azure synapse analytics for that purpose and you can also integrate apache kafka with azure so you will learn all these basic things in this topic and once you have done the analytics it's time to show that to your clients so what you need is a data visualization solution so where you will learn different data visualization tools to visualize your data and extract meaning out of it so majorly you will learn about the microsoft power bi which is a data visualization tools and how you can build interactive power bi dashboard by using it so this was the syllabus for this certification so you may ask how we can complete it in 2 days it seems a lot right no you are wrong if you start learning it you will find it so much interesting that you will be able to complete this all syllabus in just 2 days i'll tell you how to do that so as we have discussed there are four topics in this syllabus i will suggest you to complete the first three topics in just one day because if you start it it's not overwhelming at all it's a pretty basic knowledge and you will able to complete all your foundational knowledge in the first day and on the second day i'll recommend you to give some more time for the fourth topic which is very important because it involves more technologies and things will get really real in the fourth topic so i'll recommend you to give more focus on the fourth topic if you know the first three topics very well but if you are completely new and you don't know squat about data then yeah this could be very difficult to cover this in just 2 days so it totally depends on how much knowledge you really have in this area so if you have sufficient knowledge then 2 days are more than enough for you to complete it but don't worry if you need some time there's no one to judge you can take as many as time you need because the basics are very important and once you build the basics then the things will get easier for you when you approach for any associate level certification like dp203 for example which is a great certification for any data engineer but for now covering the basics is very important for you so the last question would be does it really worth it and the short answer is yes because it will be a very good start for you if you are starting your career in the field of data and verifying your knowledge by doing a certification is also a great thing and it will be a great addition to your resume as well so if you are a fresher or having a lesser experience then definitely doing this certification will boost your confidence as well as build the foundational knowledge and also be the great addition to your resume so this certification overall is really great but if you are thinking that this alone will give you a dream job in the data world then you might be wrong because doing this certification alone will definitely not give a dream job in your dream company but 
to get the knowledge and for learning perspective i'll highly recommend you to go and complete this certification so enough talking you have the weekend just go to their website and learn it and if you find any difficulties then you can drop me a note in the comment and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching